my husband of 30 years was one of them. It is outrageous that our government would ever entertain the thought of granting the terrorists a plea deal. If not for the outcry of the 9-11 community, who knows what might have transpired. It has been 23 years and the families deserve justice and accountability. The elected feet officials here today show their respect and reverence to the families on September 11th, or in our president's words, do 9-11, quite a flippant remark. Welcome back, Warriors. It's me, Linda B. Thank you all for joining me here today. So I know you've probably heard about the 9-11 early exodus of Kamala Harris and Jim Crow Joe Biden. Yes, these are the same people that uh, were responsible for that disastrous pullout in Afghanistan three years ago and also who did not show up for the anniversary and made up lies about Donald Trump. But before we get into it, don't forget, you got to like, comment, share, subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell, watch the video to the end. Let's get into it. So it came to me that they left early. So we're going to take a look at this. And my uncle, firefighter Frankie Esposito, and cousin. And my uncle, firefighter Frankie Esposito, and cousin. And my uncle, firefighter Frankie Esposito, and cousin. So basically, while someone was talking about, I think she said her husband and gave the name, and they're doing a ceremony remembering the people who were lost um 23 years ago and we see that they are actually leaving uncle, fire, this fire, ceremony fire, right fire, here fire, kamala fire, and this pastor is biden fire, leaving fire, early fire. um this is the kind of people we're dealing with and you know again these are the same people that had that disastrous pullout in afghanistan and they're the reason why 13 people lost their lives 13 americans and did not have the common decency to even say we're sorry for your loss, never picked up a phone call. I was watching um, some behavior experts on Dr. Phil. Um, you guys are familiar with Dr. Phil. And <laughs> he said that he's been trying to, for the longest, get an interview with Kamala Harris multiple, multiple, multiple times. And they haven't answered. They haven't responded because they're not going to be hand fed questions and she can't do that. Remember, is this Joe and Kamala walking out when the names were being read? It is Trump and J.D. stayed the entire time during the entire ceremony and they went to the fire department of New York after then went to Shanksville. They left because the widow of a 9-11 victim called the Biden-Harris administration out publicly. This is them leaving. This is Trump advance. They stayed the entire time. You see the picture here with the fire department of New York. There's Trump and there's J.D. Vance right here. Gotta love a real president. See, <laughs> People will show you who they are eventually. Some people can speak smooth and flowery words, smoother than silk, but they genuinely are not, well, they're not genuine. <laughs> you know, ladies, when we were younger and we were dating and the guys that could get all the girls had those smooth lines, those were the ones that were cheating. But the one who was a little awkward, a little rough around the edges, a lot of times were more genuine. So we can't look for the smooth facade, the one whose words just roll off the tongue because they're rehearsed. They're disingenuous. They're fake. They're not sincere in any about in any amount. So I am just looking at the fact that that this is the same woman that talks about Americans want a fresh start and all of this. And all she was very polished, more polished than she normally is. And there were no words, sellers. I was like, someone's been working hard with this one. <laughs> you heard about the earrings, right? That somebody, Obama Nation, was giving her some pointers, telling her what to say. Can she do it without any help? Do we want somebody who needs this much help running the country? I think not. And you see how Donald Trump and J.D. Vance stayed the entire time. You saw that. You saw that. And 
Let me hear what this widow has to say. My husband of 30 years was one of them. It is outrageous that our government would ever entertain the thought of granting the terrorists a plea deal. If not for the outcry of the 9-11 community, who knows what might have transpired. It has been 23 years and the families deserve justice and accountability. The elected feet officials here today show their respect and reverence to the families on September 11th, or in our president's words, do 9-11, quite a flippant remark. But please remember that the September 11th families live it every day, not just on the anniversary. Quite a flippant remark, but I wanna show you this again in case you missed it. Look at this right here. Gee, who's missing from this shot right here? Who's missing? Because Kamala Harris and Jim Crow Joe were standing to the right of governor of New York, I believe. Well, no, Kamala Harris was standing next to this man, Schumer, I believe. And um, she was standing over here. This is the governor of New York, Hochul. There's Trump and J.D. Vance. And you see clearly that Jim Crow Joe Biden and Kathleen Kamala are nowhere to be found because they left when the people's names were being called out. See, they walked away when the, see, that is very symbolic of what kind of presidency she would have if she were to get into office. Thank God, God is intervening. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. This is very indicative. Okay. When people show you who they are, believe them. I'm going to say it again. When people show you, not what they say, because they can lie. When they show you who they are, believe them. The Bible says, know them by their deeds, their works, their lifestyles, by what they do. This is when they chose to walk out when the names were called. This was when it happened, when this woman was up here talking about her husband of 30 years was one of them. And she said the flippant remark of we're going to do 9-11 and giving, doing this for the terrorists, a negotiation, that's insane. If you all don't see by now what's going on, I feel sorry for you. I mean, what else can I say? I'm not here to make you feel good. I'm here to educate you without infuriating you. Okay, we have a country that we want to be focused on God, religious freedom, freedom of speech, the ability to bear arms, you know, the ability to um, educate our children the way we see fit, to keep men out of women's sports. We want the right thing. We're for the babies living. We want life, not death. We want life. OK, and this election is so super duper important. I know it sounds very, you know, just run of the mill to keep saying, you know, this is the most important election in our nation's history. It really, really is. It is so super important. I got to tell you, it really, really is. We got to get out there. And if you see something fishy, you better speak up. Amen. Y'all know I get feisty on this channel. <laughs> Pray for me. <laughs> I get passionate sometimes. But that's who they are. Just believe them. Whatever she said during the debate, which she was very polished while she was saying it, but honey, she still didn't have any substance. Kathleen Kamala, she didn't have any substance. She had style, but she didn't have substance. You all tell me what you think in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. You all be blessed. Love God, your families, these United States of America. And as I always say, march on, warriors.